Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Boy, what do you I get out of that? Get my face. Get out of that. If you clicked on this video, you already know what I'm going to say. But for the ones who miraculously don't know who Neon is, well, if I had to describe him, I would say he's a nuisance. And I'm not saying that because I'm a hater. If I could say something positive about him, I would, but I can't. Will you say something positive about a pile of shit? No. This man is known for harassing people for views. He said to a 12 years old that he was gonna grape him. And I do wanna add, he said it as an insult. No, literally. But still, he's an adult. You don't say that to a kid. He threatened Donald Trump. Um, you know, I'm gonna talk my shit to Trump. And then um, it's gonna be a very good experience. And I'm gonna talk my shit. I don't care if the Secret Service is there. I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna talk shit. So he was involved in a hit and run. And the list goes on. And because he has his security guard by his side, he thinks he's untouchable. That he's the president of the United States. That he can do whatever he wants. But the thing is, Neon, if you go after the wrong person or people, they will not care that you have a security guard. They will whoop your ass and your security guard's ass. And after what happened, I think he knows. Because Neon just got humbled to the point that he had to run for his life. I, I blacked out. What did he even say to me? Okay, wait, car, get in the car. I'll call, I'll call Masvidal. Just get in the car. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know about you guys, but personally, I've been waiting to see something like this happen for so long. He thought that once again, he could act as a cocky motherfucker and get away with it. But this time, they had him begging for his life. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Not even Forrest Gump ever ran that fast in his life. Guys, we are eating good food. This is just beautiful. And I know some young fans are gonna come and say, oh, you're just hating because he's successful. He got clout. He's dating Sam Frank. Like Sam Frank ain't fucking mid, but whatever. If you're familiar with his content, you will know it was deserved. This man would trash talk your mom just to entertain his audience full of fucking pre-teens. He would mock your dad just to get clipped on TikTok and go viral. But this time, he got taught a lesson. Nate Diaz's team gave him a huge reality check. And you must be wondering, what did Neon do or say for Nate Diaz's team to pressure him to the point that he had to beg for mercy? And he didn't say anything crazy. But because in his mind, he's the next heir to the throne, he thinks that he can just disrespect people without facing any consequences. But this time, it didn't go his way. Uh, second question I have for you today, man, is um, when you do get knocked out, are you going to retire? You said that, so I know who you are. Or if, 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 if you do, if you do, I, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be watching. I just, I'm excited to see both sides, but it, I'm gonna kick you in your fucking leg, muscle. <laughs> hey, P.S. You. I, I have a lot of respect for everyone, man. It's just, I want to see a great fight. You. <laughs> Alright, uh. I got little girls over here that'll fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> to many of you, this might seem like a casual and harmless question, but it is an issue because if you paid attention to what he said, he didn't say if you lose, he said when you do get knocked out. When you do get knocked out, are you gonna retire? A guy like Neon is disrespecting you in front of the whole world by saying you've already lost this fight. Listen, this is a fighter. He has his pride. You cannot publicly humiliate him in that manner. What are the other fighters gonna think if he lets a guy like Neon turn him into the butt of the joke? And you might think that I'm pushing things. He trains to be recognized as one of the best fighters on this planet. And it's only normal for him 
him to be seething when a guy like Neon basically says, Oh, why are you training, bro? You're about to get knocked out anyway. So maybe you should just retire. No, that's not how it works. You want to be the class clown? Okay, I'll just catch you outside and I'll make you dance, little bitch. And even this guy here is looking at Neon like, bro, you just fucked up badly. That's something you should not do under no circumstances, especially if it's just to go viral. And this is his problem. He's laughing because he's too cocky. He thinks that everyone is either going to bow to him or be afraid of his security guard. But your boy isn't Goku. He isn't Gojo. He isn't going to cast infinity to protect you. One day, you'll push the boundaries to the point you'll find someone that will whip your ass. And funny enough, this isn't the only L that Neon caught recently because he got jumped by Jack Doherty. And I can't show you the rest of the video because you know YouTube but honestly it's not that impressive even my friends and I fought better than that in elementary school but then Neon left Jack followed him and then jumped him because the only thing he did was throw the shittiest flying kick to his security guard just to literally stay on the floor while his goons attacked Neon and you know Jack he then went online and started to brag about it because little pussy thinks he did something but whatever Jack and Neon used to spend a lot of time together they used to do a lot of streams together they were the faces of this generation of streamers of bad awful streamers neon's girl sam used to be one of jack's of girls i mean until recently i'll come back to it later but he used to pimp neon's girl when you see what happened with diaz when you know that neon severed his ties with jack i just can't stop thinking that we might be witnessing his downfall i don't think he'll ever reach the same heights be as mainstream as he was a year ago but i don't necessarily think that his career will end he'll still be able to make money from his streams and other things but he'll never have the same impact because even if he changes people follow him because of how obnoxious he presents himself on stream does someone know who the true neon really is i don't think a single person on the internet knows that how do you expect people to stay for who you are after you change because no one came for that in the first place but if he maintains this persona he won't just fall from grace he will fade into the abyss while my channel grows because you think my content is worth supporting and after watching this video you just knew you had to subscribe so welcome and thank you right now people are tired of his antics he's getting disrespected everywhere i mean just look at this you can pause if you want but basically he asked someone to stream and that person told him to basically jump off the balcony if he wanted to stream with him he got pressed by someone at an anime convention and people who go to anime conventions are usually pretty chill so if they hate you that must mean that you have to be an awful scum. No, I'm, I'm tweaking. Let's go. Fuck yeah, dude. What the you, fuck bro. yeah. Your girlfriend's a whore and you should. Your girlfriend's a whore and you should. Hey. What, what'd you say? What'd you say? You know what's crazy? Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look at yourself, bro. Look at yourself. I'll dump you on Gangi, bro. On Gangi, I'll dump you, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Bro, Leon, you're about to. What? 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 Are you? What am I? Doing? What? Huh? Why are you? And Yon is basically saying, yeah, look at you, you're running away, blah, blah, blah. But the guy knows you are acting all tough and mighty because you got a security guard by your side. And if he hits you, if he does something to you, your guy will jump him. He's not stupid. The day you'll go to someone and insult him while being alone, this is the day I'll be like, okay, that's a man. He's an asshole, but at least he's a man. But until then, I can't because the only times I've seen you disrespect people was when you had your fucking gorilla on the side. And I'm not saying gorilla because he's black. I'm saying gorilla because he's a security guard. To be a security guard, you need that gorilla type build. Do you actually think Neon would still be alive if he had hired someone who was built like him? No, he would already be in a casket. But the collapse of Neon's dominance does not stop there. Because now, he's been accused of doing one of the worst things you could do as a content creator. His old manager Kane, I know every- he fucking hates him. He tells me everything. I know everything about that motherfucker. He has- he has 50k view bots, so anything he has over 50k is what he actually has. So if he has- he normally has like 55k views, right? So that means he has 5k live viewers. Like, bro, you're not that guy with fucking- 5k live viewers like oh my god i'm so proud of you 5,000 people fucking give a shit about you like no they don't no one cares but yeah um and then yesterday he had 100 uh, k view bots so i think he had like 108k views live so he had only 8,000 live viewers so yeah it's very far off from uh like that's like uh that means what like 92 percent of his views are bots wow that's amazing good for you he's been called out by jack and jdeon for allegedly view botting your stream is definitely botted 
But I'm, I can't say that it's you. Here we go. With this if you shit. say it's not you, then it's not you. Okay. Okay. So, okay. No. No. Okay. So, all right. All right. In your eyes. All right. In, okay. 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 Right hand, bro. Right hand on the Quran. Right hand on the Quran. What? I do not view bot. Okay. No one on your team. No. Holy fuck, bro. bro the same bro, shit on YouTube for years. You fat. And then you went and you tried to go the religious route and then you got bored and you missed the fame and then you went back. Shut your fat ass up and suck my dick with your mother's lips. F you, you fat fuck. Get the fuck off my phone. Fuck out of here, bro. I just like I just realized like, I was trying to argue with him, but it just, um, you know, I I, I apologize for for the, for the disrespectful words I told you. Can I get an apology too? What do I need to apologize for? For coming at me for no reason? All those insults just to apologize? He truly is the epitome of what a keyboard warrior is. And this is one of the worst things you could do as a streamer. You already know how he acts and if he needs to view bot at this point of his career, it just proves how pathetic that man is, that kid excuse me. He's the guy that is trying to sell to the world that he's one of the top streamers but he needs to view bot to stay relevant? How low is this man ready to go? I don't know what's your opinion about that guys but to me he's still that same despicable kid that faked his death for clout and today he's trying to fake his way to the top but with the image you built of yourself the only top you'll reach is the one of the most hated people in the history of the internet. That may be why he decided to go on George Jenko's podcast because George is a like person on the internet plus he's a religious man so he may think that being associated with that kind of person will better his image. That may also be why he said that he was going to expose Jack for getting underage girls drunk and making them sign OF contracts. I will be taking that money and I will be exposing you for getting drunk underage girls on yachts and taking percentages of them. You will be going down my brother. You will be going down. I never had any real problem with you until now. So you will be going down. Underage girls on a yacht making them drink. I know everything about you and I'm, I got this. I got this. It's a good thing for sure. But from what I can understand, he knew from the get go and it's only after their little brawl that he decided that he was going to expose Jack. That may also be why he asked Sam to delete her OnlyFans. Did she do OnlyFans? She did. And then, yeah, she deleted it. Oh, you, uh, you oh, had her delete it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dang, dude. Because I was like, you were coming at Adam22. And it was a, it was a, like it was the dumbest thing ever. Like if you look back at it, I made fun of like OF girls, and I was like saying all this shit, like like you're selling your body, all this shit, and then I got with one. Like it it just it, that's it how looked, it happens. It looked though. pretty stupid, but then like she like I, I told her I was like like we had a talk, and she like she really genuinely wanted to do it for herself, and she's like I really do want to change. I never wanted to do this in the first place. I just felt like I had to, but now I'm gonna work on myself. Like, obviously pay cut like whatever she's not gonna make as much but she'll be happier so she 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 made the decision i was like don't do it because of me do it because you want to and she she was like i want to do it so well that's good it's cool i'm, I'm liking your guys's art jack is getting a percentage of what his of models make and that might be why he asked sam to delete her only fans because there's a chance that jack signed sam to an of contract and honestly would you let the guy that beat your ass in front of everyone make some moolah thanks to your girl no so this might be the reason and not because they decided it was time for them to walk on the right path. For sure, I would prefer him to do that than what he does in general. But that doesn't mean he's changing. Just because he exposed another asshole, because he went on that person's podcast, we just can't forget what he did. This man has been tormenting the streets. He's been acting like the most entitled brat for years and just because he did a few good things, we are supposed to forget all the bad things he did. I'm sorry, but you need to put more effort. We need to be sure that you are actually trying to change and you're not doing that because you know your business model isn't sustainable anymore, that you are falling to the ground, that you are becoming irrelevant. He's becoming one of the most hated content creators in history. And if he doesn't do anything, his career will be flushed down the toilet. But that'll be all for today's video, guys. I'm not saying people don't deserve a second chance, but we know how in love this man is with clout. And it will take a lot of effort to prove to the world that he ain't the same person anymore. Even just for himself, to prove it to himself that he actually changed and not is faking his change to make sure he doesn't die of irrelevancy. But honestly, if you like the content, don't hesitate to like, share with a friend, comment, let me know what you think. I personally think this is the beginning of the end of Neon. Sub, if you like my channel, if you like my content, one down. Want to go? And guys, while I was making the video, Sam Frank was exposed for allegedly cheating on Neon. I don't know how reliable this picture is, but if it's real, Neon. Maybe she didn't delete her OnlyFans for you. Maybe she wanted to preserve some mystery 
for her sneaky link. Because why would someone like Sam Frank delete her Instagram or at least deactivate it without any reason? Seems kind of fishy to me. It just doesn't stop. I'm telling you guys, we are witnessing his downfall.